that? Oh wow, what is that? That looks like a... Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's an extraterrestrial, but I don't The kind that dresses like an owl. You know, these are... Sticks across the face. See him right there? Here comes the wind, but he's on the tree. Actually, it almost looks like we're looking through the tree. Oh, he just opened his eyes, see him? And he's trying to look at me right now. The dark green. They're climbing out of their leaves, see him? They're very tiny. They're climbing out of the leaves. And there's a, some girl up there. See her eyes right there? Something dancing above her eyes. There's their little portal. Actually, it looks like one of those scoops. It's a chair. For who? Something pretty big. Look at that thing. Sign him. That's by him right there. That stump is not moving. That tree right there. He's hiding behind the leaves. That's, I bet you that's him. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not even down yet. Look at him. Whatever it is, he's pulling the trees down. Look at him. I'm just dying to know why they do that. I can never see who's doing it, though. I know a lot of times, the, you know, my little guys will be up there and they'll be weaving. Oh, look at this guy. They'll be weaving and uh, that's all they do all day long. It's, you know, they'll be able to pull one string a mile away and it moves, you know, moves a, a stick 20 feet away, 50 feet away. You know what I mean? They have it all maneuvered up. Kind of like a spider web, what I would imagine. It's a trap of sorts, I guess. See him, see him right there in the green grass. He's right there. There he is. And there's a couple of dark figures. Uh, look, they're the ones the size of, of a bird. They don't have um, green, green on. They look like our birds. I do believe that they are taking our birds. Or at least putting their DNA in our in their eggs, you know. This is still half and half. They don't know what the hell they're doing. They were definitely raised by these guys, though. They took them away from the eggs. That's why these crows were going crazy that day. Because for all that, you know, it's all they know is that they laid the eggs, but they didn't know that these guys manipulated their eggs. How could they? They're birds. So they were just doing what they do best, and that's defending the nest. For seven and a half hours of screaming. <laughs> that was some pretty good footage, you know, I never watched that whole thing. Oops. So my new delivery should be there when I get home today. My brand new tripod with the phone adapter that clicks right on for my um, telescopic lens. So what's back here? Is that going into the sun? Hmm. I'm not doing the shooting into the sun thing anymore. So I was at Spooky Woods twice yesterday. Once in the morning, which at what time, I stopped in one place before that, charged the, you know, camera on the way there, the camera was charged. I get there, I'm not there five minutes, the camera's dead, okay? So, I go to, I run to my pharmacy, took another 
shot of the nest at a different angle. Stopped the spooky woods on my way back. Again, it said it had a full battery. So I didn't even bother bringing the power pack. I get there. I didn't use it again. No freaking camera, okay? So I get back to the car, I get my phone out, put it on my tiny tripod that I do have, put my telescopic lens on it, took it back up. Well, something happened to my phone camera in whatever amount of time, and it, it, it looks terrible. It looks like, like my old camera did, like it was heat sensor or something, it was freaky. So that didn't work, and there was shit happening. There was tree limbs dropping twice. I saw two deers running through there. Both times I was there. For no reason. So they were, I mean, that place, when I tell you it's called Spooky Woods, it is fucking haunted. Hi. I know you, I know you're in there. I'll get you in a little bit. Oh shit, I was about to I guess he wanted me to get him now. <laughs> That's pretty dandy, dandy, handy, dandy. Look at that. Hi there. Look, mama and baby. That's a big black bird, I think. That's not a baby bird, but I don't know what it is, but it's high. It's looking at me. What's that? And there's a whole bunch of little people right there. Look at them, oh my God. Hello. Look at them, they're just, they're just, look, it looks like they're having a conversation. Like they're having a school lesson. Are you watching this? I don't know, maybe I just have too much of an imagination, I don't know. Alright, stop it, Ted. All these guys species X and that's what it looks like is here again this would be my latest find I'm gonna call them species X they're very tiny they also can get very large Hmm. 
I see Pablo Romani. There's so many on the side actually, and the subway. Look at you. Look at that. Whoa. Okay, awesome. I've only been waiting for this for like ever. And it's dropping off, so. Still can't see it's dropping off. There's a portal. You just dropped off somebody. It's a mighty big fall there. Mighty big fall. Whoa. Jeez, he's still going. Oh my god. That could have been. I don't want to use all this stuff before I get to the mountain. I'm in black and chill right there. They're getting ready to come out right now. Um, they're already coming out on the bottom of that. Right? Yeah, they have the whole cut and chill ready to see where that upside down V is. It's going to split off right there. It's not the big one. Oh, and there's one right there. Another one, he's just got off out of the tree. It's not clear enough for me. Too much wind. Alright, well, I'm gonna head up to the mountain then. Immediately. What the hell is that? That's a nice shoe. Looks like I'm spotting something going on. Good toss. There's the door.
Yeah, they're not gonna let me sing to I don't know what's so secretive right now, but maybe when I get home. Look at them, oh my god, they're so cute. Maybe when I get home to my mountain, they'll be more receptive. Yeah, they're getting ready to come out. Alright, see you later.